backwards. Given the name, can we draw the carboxylic acid? So I would start at the end here where it says heptanoic acid, heptanoic acid, oic acid, that's going to be our tip off that it's a carboxylic acid. And then the hep, hept means I have seven. So I'm going to have seven carbons. I'm going to draw those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I like to draw my carboxylic acid, my carbonyl carbon over here at the end. Don't know why, just do. So there's my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's my heptanoic acid, that's my base structure. And then I've got the four methyl. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a methyl group on carbon four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I have a CH3 group over here. And then you can go back in and draw on the, all the hydrogens that you want. You could also do this in the skeletal structure. I can show you that way as well. Then you don't have to worry about adding all the hydrogens. Sometimes these can get kind of big. This carbon has one, two, three bonds, so I only need an H there. Cool, so that's our heptanoic acid. The next one, again, ending in oic, oic acid, that tells me it's a carboxylic acid. Hexanoic acid means I have six this time. So let's see what would happen if we drew it as a skeletal structure. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a carbon. This carbon is going to have a double bond O. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to have an OH over here. And then off of uh, carbon two, so carbon one, carbon two, I'm going to add a, pro a propyl group. One, one, two, three. One, two, three. You could do it that way. If you don't like it that way, you don't like the skeletal structure, feel free to draw that out with a hexanoic acid. So I'd have one, two, three, four, five, six. This guy's going to have a double bond O each. Um, one, two, carbon two. I'm going to have a propyl group. group. <laughs> CH2, CH2, CH3. And then go back in and add all your hydrogens. This carbon has one, two, three bonds, so he only needs an H. The last one, butanoic acid, that's four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to have a carboxyl group over here. And then on three, I'm going to have, that's a carbon, looks weird. I'm going to have um, a chlorine group. One, two, three. So I've got a chloral group over here. So I've got CH3. This carbon has one, two, three, needs one hydrogen. This guy needs two, and that guy's good. He's got one, two, three, four. And that's all we have there.